Welcome back. I'm your host, Charles Travis. You're watching Teen Titans of Industry, the story of young entrepreneurs who made it big in business. Last week, we covered the Prince of Pogs. He got to start selling pogs online on his very own pog blog. That started a lot of pog jobs, and after a while, his business was a real grand slam. He moved on to found ChemCorp International, which of course are the makers of Clorox Cologne Shower. Thank God I've got this. Whoa, She'll literally do works. you. May God's permanent bleaching of skin. She will not literally do you. Yes, she will. But not all fairy tales have a happy ending. Take the premiere of Pocket Pals. Those cute little plush pals that were famous in the late 90s. Some of those pals made people millions. One of those guys was Brentus Hamrick. At his top, he was making a fortune. Time has moved on, and his once hot business has not. <laughs> so, Brentus, uh, it's good to see you. Uh, why don't you uh, remind us all why you're here today? Take us back to the very beginning. Remind us all why you're successful. <laughs> well, it's a pretty popular story, but I guess I could tell it again. Back in 03, I was standing outside of a Walmart when this soccer mom walks by me with a Bronte the Brontosaur. It's a $2,000 pocket pal. So I approach her, all smiles, nice guy that I am, and I tell her that the Bronte the Brontosaur is a very unpopular pocket pal, that her daughter would be a lot better off with a Pinchy the Lobster. Pinchy the Lobster so happens to be a $2 pocket pal. We make the trade, and she walks away smiling. That was my first big hustle. They were the glory days. I bought Paul Walker's original 2002 Mustang before he made Fast and the Furious. I was driving around in that, slinging pocket pals and making bank. I was hustling so many that it made no physical sense for me to stay in high school anymore. I had become the 1% of the 1% of the 1%. So, one one hundredth of a percent. I didn't learn how to do that math. I told you I dropped out of high school. Not gonna lie. The Bush years were big business for pocket pals. But then in 2008, something changed. I mean, where was the pocket pal bailout money? I was using close to 10K a week. I had the Chinese government crawling up my ass with a microscope because I violated some trade agreement. Those were the dark years, like the Batman movies in the 90s. But the biggest thorn in my side was that little prick, Thompson. You're talking, of course, about your main rival, Chet Thompson. <laughs> if you can call him that. Oh, Brentus Hamrick? That guy? Yeah, I mean, he was a genius when it came to selling children's toys. I mean, anyone could do that, but I guess he just adapted to the market better. So this one time, down at a dog park here, all right, about to make the deal of my year. And what does Brentus do? He shows up in this ratty-ass Mustang, completely butts me out of the deal, shows my customer, hey, I can give you four for one, five for one, six for one. Who can do that? Chinese knockoffs. That's how we can sell them so cheap, and that's how we can steal my customers right from out from under my nose. Let's just say he's not the most patriotic person in the world. What can I say? I love making people's days. So you really feel that after a decade of being in business, after losing so much money, that your success lies in one of these little stuffed animals? One, they're not stuffed animals. They're plush collectibles. And B, I feel things are getting better already. In fact, I know that for a fact. Incoming alert. You have earned $1.57 today. What can I say? I guess life is just stuffed with opportunity. It, that's not a metaphor. They're not stuffed animals. They're plush collectibles. That's all we have for Teen Titans. Thanks for watching, and make sure that you follow me at Trave to the Rave. Hashtag local news is still relevant. Up next, a gorilla has escaped from the Metro Zoo. Tune in to find out why the police aren't monkeying around with this furry little fugitive. That's all we have time for. See ya.